Here are the video solutions for NCFE Functional Skills Maths Level 1. This is Section A, which is the non-calculator section, and this is their sample paper. So let's take a look at question number one. So we need to write three quarters of a million as a number. Um, it's kind of hard to explain how to get here. Um, you kind of need to have some basic knowledge, which is that three quarters of a million is um, 750,000. Um, so if I write that in words, so 750,000. And we just need to remember that when we write numbers, 1,000 is replaced by a comma. So it's going to be 750, comma, and then the next three-digit number would be anything that comes after the word 1,000. But as there's nothing that comes after the 1,000, we're just going to put in three zeros. So 750, zero, 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 comma, space, or neither. It's entirely up to you. Um, this question, I guess you kind of either, either you know it or you don't really. Okay, so we want to calculate 43 out of 50 as a percentage. So as a fraction, it's 43 out of 50. Remember that percent means out of 100. So a percentage is a fraction out of 100. So we want an equivalent fraction out of 100. We've doubled the number on the bottom. So therefore we need to double the number on the top. And 43 times by two is 86. So that is therefore 86%. Okay, at 10 miles per hour, the calculation for the stopping distance in feet is 10 plus 0 0.05 times 10 squared. To work this out, Sam does 10 plus 0 0.05 to get 10.05, and then he's multiplied by uh, 100. Okay, where has Sam gone wrong? Well, Sam has obviously not fully understood bid mass, which is the order of the operation. So we've got adding and we have multiplication. We need to do the multiplication first and then do the adding. He's done it the other way around. What he should have done is, um, oh, actually we've got indices as well. So let's take care of the 10 squared first. So 10 squared is 10 times by 10, which is 100. So we've now got 10 plus 0 0.05 times by 100. So we do the multiplication first. 0 0.05 times by 100 is five. So the question is 10 plus five, which is 15. So 15 feet. Um, which seems a more reasonable stopping, uh, breaking distance or stopping distance for a, a quite a slow speed, 1,005, that is, uh, yeah, that's a big distance. Okay, question D, here is the formula for calculating the breaking distance. So we've been told what it is for 25, so we need to work it out, work out what it is for 60. So it's gonna be 0 0.05 multiplied by 60 squared, so we'll do the 60 squared first. 60 times by 60 is what? Well, six times six is 36. So let's just put those two zeros in. So 3,600. So 0 0.05 times by 3,600. Um, if you recognize that 0 0.05 is 5%, then you could work out 10% and then half it, or just do 3,600 times by five. I ignore the fact that it's a decimal. That's normally how I teach people how to handle decimals. Five zeros are zero, five zeros are zero, five six to 30, zero carry three, three fives are 15, 16, 17, 18. So five times 3,600 is one eight zero zero zero. So 0 0.05 times three six zero zero is going to be these numbers, but with a decimal point somewhere. Now, how many numbers are there in the question that come after a decimal point? Well, there are two. So therefore, we need to make sure that our answer has two numbers coming after a decimal point. So I'll stick it there. So that is 180 feet. That's not the answer. We want the difference between um, 180 feet and 31.25. So what is 180? take away 31.25. Well, you're gonna have a few issues here unless you put in a decimal point and two zeros. Put a decimal point in line in our answer box. So we're gonna to have to do a lot of borrowing here. Zero minus five can't be done. This column is empty. This column is empty. So this column will have to be raided. Eight goes to a seven. This zero becomes a 10, which will then turn into a nine to make this one a 10. And then this one becomes a nine to make this one a 10. 10 minus five is five, nine minus two is seven, nine minus one is eight, seven minus three is four, one minus nothing is one. So the answer is 148.75 feet. 
Okay, so uh, we just need to, for this one, we don't really need to read any of this, although uh, this probably does relate to this. In fact, it relates to the option two here. So 15% of 710 pounds. So it all comes from working out what 10% is. And 10% of 710 pounds is 71 pounds. Just chop off the zero. It's one tenth. 10% 10 is a tenth. Now 15% is a 10% plus a 5%. So if 10% is 71, then 5% is going to be half of 71. And um, if you can't do 71 divided by 2, we'll need to do a bus stop method. 7 divided by 2 is 3 with a remainder of 1. 11 divided by 2 is 5 with a remainder of 1. Put in a decimal point and a 0 so that that remainder 1 can be parked onto that 0 to make a 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So £35.50, so therefore 15%, uh, as I said, 15% is 10% plus 5%, so it's going to be £71 plus £35.50. So let's just add these together, we've got 50 at the end, 1 plus 5 is 6, 7 plus 3 is 10, so £106.50. Okay, so um, option two, how much do we save? Right, let's have a look at option one first of all. So option one, what is option one? So um, so Sam is 17 and he's 30 hours, so it's gonna be 30 times by 2165. 30 multiplied by 21 pound 65, and on top of that, plus the £62 for the driving test because it was not included. So uh, what I would do here is I would do, um, let's just work out 2165 times by 30. So to do that, I'm just going to do 2165 times by 3 and then put a 0 on the end. 5 3s are 15, 5 carry 1. 6 3s are 18 plus 1 is 19, carry 1. 1 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4, 2 3s are 6. So if 2165 times 3 is this, then 2165 times 30 is 64950. But we wanted uh, 21.65. So if 30 times by 2165 is 64950, then 30 times by 21.65, how many numbers? Um, I've already kind of we've already seen a question where we're uh, multiplying decimals we have two decimal places in the question so we need two decimal places in the answer so it will cost £649.50 and I also need to add on the uh, £62 for the test as well so that will obviously 0.50 9 plus 2 is 11 carry 1 10 plus 1 is 11 carry 1 711.50 okay so option 1 is £711.50. So let's take a look at option two. It's um, just £710 with a 15% discount, which is £106.50. Uh, so option two is going to be the cost of the course, which was, as I said, uh, was £710. Take away the discount, which was 106.50. Okay, so I'm going to turn this into a 0 0.00. Put a decimal point in the answer column. 0 minus 0 is 0. Um, again, we're going to have to do some borrowing here. 1 will become a 0. So this 0 becomes 10, but I need to make that a 9 so that I can make this one a 10. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 minus 6 is 3. 0 minus 0 is 0. 7 minus 1 is 6. Okay, so option two is cheaper, it's 603.50, and the question was what, how much will he save, so that's going to be the difference between these two amounts. I'll just do this down here where it's a bit, so that it's a bit neater. £711.50, take away £603.50, decimal point in line, 50 minus 50, that's zero. One minus three can't be done, so one becomes a zero, this one becomes an 11. 11 minus three is eight. 0 minus 0 is 0, 7 minus 6 is 1. So that is a saving of £108. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of calculations in that last one, uh, but we got there in the end, and that is the end of section A.